subscribe down below share comment like and subscribe I'm, trying, I'm, I'm almost to 300 subscribers i want to be to 1k by december we're gonna see how this go lately i've been feeling really really unmotivated i haven't been knowing like what kind of videos to post i mean i know people like my um natural hair videos but i'm liking my hair right now so right now i really don't don't even know like what kind of natural hair videos i could do like whatever i'm rambling this video is just gonna be me doing my makeup because i'm bored i ain't going nowhere i'm just i don't know i'm just bored and i'm just trying to record a video get it out there i don't want to just be moping around sad so don't mind this this is my business supplies this is just my poly mailers and stuff but we about to get it in before we start i'm not good at makeup like i really don't know how to do my makeup and most of my supplies are from the beauty supply so which nothing is wrong with that but like i don't have nothing from sephora like no name brand nothing the only thing that's made name brand is maybelline l'oreal um pro concealer like stuff like that and i'm trying to be more natural on camera i don't like to act fake i like to just you know be my real self but it's hard when you get in front of a camera like it'd be awkward but I'm gonna be myself because we ain't got no time for no fake hoes. So first I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Now I might speed this up because it might take me a minute. But somebody actually wanted me to do a um eyebrow tutorial. And I tried to record one, but it was it was terrible. So like I said in the title, we're gonna talk about life. Lately, like the past couple days, I have been feeling like really, really down and unmotivated. And I don't know why. Regardless, I've been trying to just be motivated. I've been trying to keep going on stuff, not give up on stuff. And it's been hard, even though I've still been trying. Like you wouldn't even notice that I'm, you know, feeling down. I mean, I don't really be on social media like that. I have lately because I've been trying to move my life in a different direction honestly just been thinking about the future and like i just been overthinking the future which i've always overthought the future but i think it's just been hitting different lately because i'm i'm 19 i just feel like i'm so close to like my 20s now it's like i turn 20 next year and i know that still really ain't none but just i'm just I'm basically feeling like I'm getting up there. Like, even though people my age don't even have the mindset I have, like trying to, you know, work and actually f fulfill goals, accomplish goals, set goals. You know, some people don't even have the mindset that I do have. But it's like, and then there's a lot of people who's already surpassed that mindset. Like, it's 19 year old, 20 year olds in apartments and rich, but I don't want to compare myself. I can't compare myself because everybody goes a different route. Y'all, I don't know. Everybody goes a different speed, so you can't compare yourself to nobody. But you know, it, just looking at it, I'm not gonna just sit up here and say like, I don't get, I don't compare myself, but I don't get insecure about seeing other people. I'm not gonna lie, I do, but then I quickly like try to pull myself together and be like, bro, you're not them. like. And where you're at is still good. Like, you're not losing. Nobody's pointing their fingers at you. Nobody cares. Like, everybody is doing their own thing. And even if somebody is watching you and looking at you, nigga, so? You looking at me? You ain't worrying about your own shit. But I think he's okay, y'all. Oh, uh, I didn't even tell y'all why I got it from. Honestly, this is from the beauty spot. Like, I'm telling y'all, like, none of this stuff is name brand. Like, this is just some dark pomade. It was $3.99, and that's what it looked like. But I just use that. I don't be doing too much on the eyebrows. I try not to. And then I go in with two concealers. I go in with the Pro Concealer, and I go in with the Infa, Infa, Infa 
available. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't even know what brand this is, but whatever. This has been feeling really unmotivated. And then it's like I've been thinking like I've been re I don't know why, but I've just been rethinking my goals. Like, like is this what I really want to be? Like. The stuff that I think I want to do in life, like, do I really want to do that? Because, honestly, okay, let me just get into detail, because I'm really beating around the bush for y'all. Y'all won't even get what I'm talking about. So, basically, I do, I would like to be, like, an influencer. And, but then the reason I've been rethinking my goals is because I'm very, I like to be in the back background. I'm the type that I would rather be like the writer of a song and then have somebody else sing it. You know, like I don't want to be in the spotlight, but I want to I want to have my credits. I want to be paid, but I don't want nobody to know who I am. So that's why I've been rethinking the whole YouTube shit. I mean, I fuck with YouTube. I really do. But then sometimes I be feeling like I'm just being like really just fake and not myself. So really, I just been feeling like. I've been feeling like I have, I'm having a reality crisis, like an identity crisis. That's what I'm saying. But I feel like I don't really know who I am or what I want to be. And that's honestly the truth, what I've been feeling. Yeah, I've just been feeling like I've been having an identity crisis. And even though I'm still working on, you know, the stuff that I said that I want to do, I'm still like, okay, just thinking, like just looking at other successful stuff like i've been thinking about like forex i'm not gonna lie i've been thinking about forex and i've been thinking about like real estate and stuff like that because i've just been thinking about you know what the money that i want to shoot for which is like youtube money and business money because i did start a business my these nails i press on nails from my um online store yeah i've just been thinking like do I should I really just do this shit or should I just go to the the more liable way for me to get successful because all that is I mean I can get successful anyway but I'm saying like I feel like forex and real estate like you're bound to get money if you know if you know exactly what you're doing and if you're doing it right like right and you playing you working smarter not harder type shit you can definitely be successful in real estate. Like, if you want to get rich, you you do real estate. Like, to get rich, you really do real estate, honestly. Like, because that's, like, just, like, a no-brainer type shit. So, that's why I'm just been thinking, should I just look more into that? I'm not really feeling my brows. Hold on. Well, that's not bad. I don't like how I was looking on camera. Like, it's looking real... Real different. Not in. Yeah. So I think don't my eyebrows, honestly. Hold on. I can get this. But you know, the YouTubers that I've been watching lately has really been inspiring me. Like, so my favorite all-time top YouTuber has to definitely be um glamazante hands down like i literally love her so fucking much she's so like real like she's just so real and she showed like the vulnerable side of shit like she don't care like what anybody thinks like she's so carefree like she the type to do things girls will like hide like she just real like she don't care but she a badass bitch though bad bitch getting fluid out hair always done nails always done just a baddie just a bad bitch and she do youtube and it's just like she had this video she posted like two days ago i think or a day ago no probably two days ago and when i tell y'all i cried because every day i just been feeling so oh yeah my nails on y'all but Every day I've just been feeling so down, like down in the dumps, depressed, in the bed, not doing like, I, OMG, I literally cleaned my whole room this morning. Like I cleaned my closet, I cleaned everything because I'm going to tell you about this other YouTuber that I watched this morning, well really last night that got me motivated today. 
but first glamour's on tape so she posted this video and it was so inspiring like she was just talking about like how it's been a long time coming she's been on youtube since 20 wait she said 2013 i think and she's in she graduated college she was on youtube in college she graduated she moved to la she was talking about how she was broke at one point and she was only making 30 dollars a month and then she was like you know what if I really want to make some money, like, I got to do this. So, she started doing YouTube consistently. Started making money. Started getting views. She got, like, a million views on a couple videos. And then she um, moved to L.A. Started her own store. She got a st an online boutique. Well, no, not boutique. Studios. She don't like to be called boutique. It's Glamazante Apparel Studios. Oh, if, if you've been feeling unmotivated lately, like, her video was a video for you. And I was really been feeling unmotivated. So, I'm listening to it. And she was just saying, like, she's been there before, like, feeling like she don't know what she's doing and she don't know what, like, route to take in life. And she was just like, I've been there. I've been there. And But she was just like, just don't give up. Keep going. Like, whatever you want to do, keep going. And that made me feel one of it. So, I really fuck for her. I fuck for her. Okay, but I've been talking, so let me do my face. So, now I'm going to go in with real True Match. My color is Nut Brown. And... We just about to put this over my face. But yeah, so the YouTuber, so the second YouTuber that I really like that I've just actually like I watched her like my freshman year of high school. But I kind of I stopped watching her for some reason. I don't know why. And then I started back watching her like literally yesterday. Last night. And when I tell you, like, I love her too. Like I I love her. And I really wanna know her son. Like I really wanna know if she's a freaking pisces because i feel like she a pisces because i'm a pisces so she is um so in tune with god and i don't know how to do makeup oh my god like i'm like pissing myself off i have makeup as a kid though i do yeah. so yeah so she's so like spiritually connected and she talks about God. She gives her word. Like, she's just so, like, the way she talks, it's just so, just, I can just listen to her. Like, I don't skip her videos. Like, I, just, I can just listen to her. And she was just talking about how she was um in a relationship with this narcissistic person. And every word she was saying was so freaking relatable. Like, because I literally was, was messing with somebody that was narcissistic. But, um, and she was just talking about YouTube and how God, like, spoke to her and told her to, um, quit her job. I know y'all probably like, oh my God, this bitch is rubbing this make makeup on her face. I don't know how to do makeup. But, um, yeah, so she was like how God told her, like, she needs to quit her job and stuff. <clears throat> And how, like, it made me feel that I need to get a closer relationship with God. That's all. Not, that's the only way I know how to explain it. Because I feel like I don't even really know how to explain it. And know how to repeat the words that she said. Because that's how, like, close she is with God. And it's just, like, that made me really want to get close to God. Because, honestly, I've been feeling like, like, I don't know. I don't know the next steps in life. And I just feel like I need somebody to guide me, to tell me. So, because I've already been feeling like I don't know what to do. That's really how I've been feeling. Like, I don't know what to do. So, <clears throat> her videos was, like, very inspiring. And I think, um, I don't know how, but I, like, I really need to get into it with God. Like, I need to, because I'll think about it, like, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I don't do it. Like, my room. I, I've been saying I'm going to clean my room for, like, months. And I just cleaned it. And the only reason I cleaned it is because I'm going back to work tomorrow since like oh my gosh i ain't, i ain't been to work since june but that's because i had the virus but i'm better now i've been home i've been off of work since um june and been collecting them unemployment checks honey do you hear me but um i just want y'all to know i really don't know what i'm doing with my makeup though like i really don't know how to do makeup but i be trying i really do I don't wear it, but, like, I, be, I just be playing around in it, and I be I be trying, though. But, yeah. So, yeah, she just so, she just so close with God, and it's just, like, wow. 
like that shit really just the way she talks the way she re and she's so mature oh my god she's only 22 she's only 22 and she just moved out of her own apartment too and she was just talking about that and um that's crazy I, it just really motivates me so i'm just trying to figure myself out y'all that's really all i've been doing and but um and then i just stopped talking well i was just touching on it um about the narcissistic person he was so narcissistic like oh my gosh but the way that he was my baby though like our bond was so like our bond was so tight and it's just i'm not gonna say it's fucked up that it happened because i'm glad it happened because i've been noticed signs about him i just was giving him the benefit of the doubt and the situation that occurred that really just had us like okay well had me like okay i can't fuck with you no more that's when it was just like okay whatever but literally i still i still think about him dude though like i think about him but it's just thinking about him like i you know i don't know thinking about them even though i would never get back with him ever again because honestly yeah but like when i say narcissistic like and it's so crazy because that was my first time like i never i always knew about the word narcissistic but never really understood it, like what it meant and literally me and my best friend we were up until like five in the morning looking up the definition reading about the definition and we were just so in shock at how it literally was explaining him to the t like we were like whoa because we were trying to figure out like what like what's going on in his head like the way he just the way y'all it's just a lie it's just really a lie and it was just it's really mind-blowing this person is really mind-blowing that's literally why we um we had to look this shit up because we like yo this nigga can't be this dumb this like out of tune with himself i don't know like and that's what kind of made me want to get like figure out my because when when it happened i even tried to be friends with him but he was like i don't want to be friends with you like i can't be friends with somebody that i love but i just feel like okay well if that's the case then we just can't fuck with you because you got to respect my boundaries but him he really don't know himself he's a follower he does everything that everybody else do unfortunately i lost my set of powder so i have this now i got this from walmart like years ago and it's not my freaking color at all but i didn't know that i just thought i just needed powder but we gonna see what it is do yeah, I just want y'all to see how bright that is. This video was going good. It was. So, um, we're going to put this on my face. And we're going to see what it do. I'm scared I ain't going to lie to you. But we about to see. I'm going to just use a little bit. Like, I'm going to just use a little bit. Because honestly, this is like... Oh, there we go. Okay. So, I'm going to just get this tag. Oh, my God. I'm literally scared. I'm literally scared. And usually, I don't... I've learned... Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh, my God. This is bright as fuck. Oh, my God. This is bright as fuck. Ow! I put it in my eye. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Well, it kind of is. We're going we're gonna to try to work it out. I've just been trying to get my felt together. Y'all can shop these nails on Depop. My Depop shop is Jalen W1. I sell clothes still, but I do have a little business on there. I'm selling press on nails. So make sure you shop that. I'll put the link in the description. Um. I kind of already look dead. Like, I look like I'm in a casket. I just feel like this light is making it look good, this ring light. But, um, 
We just gonna, okay, we just gonna see about it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at my chin. It's really so dark. I mean, so light. Okay, whatever. I, I, I need to do my forehead. But yeah, like, but it ain't like I just been like, I mean, because I know one thing I do know, like, I don't like to be ungrateful. I do not like to be ungrateful because my parents taught me, like, always say thank you and always be grateful. So I've always learned, like, to, you know, be grateful for anything that I get because I literally just bought a whole new car. Like, I bought a whole new car and it's literally exactly what I wanted. I got a sunroof. The, in the exterior was either white or black that I wanted. I got white. My interior, I either wanted black i really just wanted black my interior is black i got my sunroof i got a screen in my car and i got uh, a backup camera and my speakers are really loud and i got my rims black like it's literally everything that i wanted it's literally exactly what i wanted and i'm literally i couldn't be any happier so every morning i do pray i pray every morning just to let god know that i am grateful for any and everything that i get is this putting something on my face i don't know but this is what i'm using fit me um the color mocha 360. we about to put on this highlighter so i got this cover girl highlighter but it's a nice little highlighter though for it to be to the um from the beauty supply beauty supply still really hit though hit will be sleep on it honestly I wish I knew how to line my lips, but I don't know how to do that. But, um, I really be wanting to know, like, what kind of videos y'all want to watch. I gotta stop being so hard on myself and speaking negative. Because that ain't gonna take me nowhere being negative. I gotta stop that. I'm looking kind of cute right here, though. I got these lashes that I bought um, from the beauty. Like, wispy and thin because I didn't really want to like, I wanted this to be like some everyday lashes that I could just, you know, it looks really natural to wear every day. Hold on, let me get my tweezers. Yeah, I tried to give me some natural looking lashes that look like lash extensions, so. Cause I've been feeling kind of ugly, like bald, but I'm used to it now, I look cute bald. And I still got lashes. I ain't even tried to put mascara on yet. But the reason I have it is because I know um, which eyes should just go on. So I don't know. I'm just going here and over here. I might do this now. I feel like I put these on ugly. Well, I didn't. I need the curl. Oh shit, I did not know I was home alone the whole time. I see why people invest in like good makeup because if your shit don't look right, like this looks really patchy though. It's giving patch. So this motherfucker don't wanna. Last year, since I really like the move because it's like you wake up feeling like that bitch. I'm not doing it today. Okay, so. Oh, this is Beauty Supply 2. Honestly, I need to give me some better mascara, though. Like, the real mascara, the real deal. Damn, my lashes are long. What the fuck? Uh, but, um. You can definitely see that my lashes are damaged. Like, the way the hairs are just going, like, they're just going really crazy. And honestly, this ain't no good mascara every time but i can't say my lashes are long though if i was to whip up some edges real quick i'd be cute but i feel like the makeup gonna build up and y'all see my edges done before so but this is the end result it looks okay on the camera but in person i feel like it looks really ugly 
but i think this is the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed me rambling please let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you guys like to see i'm really trying to make my goal of 1k subscribers by the end of this year if you guys make sure you subscribe below share like comment all of that good stuff and until the next time bye